Okay, so today I'm going to cover how to clean your Walther P22. Um, my Walther P22 right now is pretty dirty. I have not cleaned it. Uh, it's, I probably shot about a thousand rounds through it since I've cleaned it last. Um, I think one of the reasons I'm able to uh, uh, get so many rounds through my Walther P22 without cleaning it um, is, is all of the modifications I've done. Um, you know, your experience might be different. Let me know. These are basically the tools that I use along with some brushes and uh, swabs. Alright, so let's go ahead and break this thing down. Okay, so that's your basic breakdown. Um, I'm not going to go do a really deep, deep cleaning here. I'm going to do the basics. Um, things that you'll do every, you know, 500 rounds. I'm going to start by um, getting rid of some of this dirt in this area. I'm going to start by blowing it out first. Now, um, you can use an air compressor. I normally would use an air compressor, but um, obviously I don't want to bring my air compressor in here in the house and film this with a loud air compressor running. So, why do I start by blowing it out? I blow it off first just because there's no point in uh, getting it wet so that way all the grit and grime and gunpowder can run down in. If I blow off all the loose stuff, I save myself some time overall. So, let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm gonna start off with a brush here. Um, now, if you don't have a special gun brush, you can probably, you know, use a toothbrush if you wanted. Some people use Q-tips. I don't, I'm not a fan of Q-tips because um, they come apart and then you've got little fibers stuck everywhere. Um, and this is uh, the solvent I use. Um, if you got something better that you like better, by all means, go for it. Let me know. I'm interested. Um, I'm not uh, one who thinks uh, my way is the ultimate and only way, and I enjoy learning from you guys. So, hey, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and start by just kind of dipping my brush in there. And I don't want it to be completely just soaked, so I kind of try to knock some of it off. Go ahead and just kind of put a little bit of solvent on there. Mo the biggest gummed up part is right here. Um, so is what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna get all that crap off of there. It seems like this is the dirtiest part. Back in here. I'm gonna clean the edges off here. My slide area. Get the gunk out of the little extractor groove. And about every 2,000 rounds, I'll take, I'll remove this whole entire uh, trigger assembly out and I'll clean it a little bit better. But honestly, you don't need to do that every time. If you do need to do that every time, you need to do some mods to your Walther P22. And in that case, I've got your hookup. I've got all kinds of videos. A whole entire playlist, in fact, if you want to check it out on all the different modifications you can do to your Walther P22. So now that I got that, I'm going to grab um, some patches here. Now, you can buy the larger patches and cut them down to size. That's what I did. Uh, I'm just going to wipe this down. You can see it's dirty. And then I'll, I'll 
use this end, I'll kind of, my small end, I'll kind of wrap this around there to get into the small areas. Get all the nooks and crannies. So, basically right now I'm just kind of drying it off, you know, kind of with that. Now, when you put the solvent onto this area right here, you could wash little chunks down in. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull it back, release, and I shouldn't hear any grittiness. Now I do hear a little bit, so now that there is, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of solvent in there. Okay, so I got a nice little bunch of solvent. I'll take my air. all that does is it blows um, all the um, stuff out of the little cracks. Okay, so now it's really smooth. So that, I know I'm good. So I'll take another clean one here. And I'll just be careful when you're wiping here. Um, your uh, sear spring might be sharp. So if you slice your finger open on your sear spring, I am not responsible because I just warned you that it could be sharp. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it is. Either way, I warned you. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just cleaning all this other stuff off here. And I haven't even cleaned the barrel yet. Some people take the barrel out to clean it. I think I'm going to leave it in. I don't see any point in taking it out. All right, so... Now, by all means, this is not the only way I like to start with a brush just to get all the crap out before I put my uh, dirty uh, little, uh, what is this, a cotton plunger. Um, okay. I've heard you're supposed to push all the way through before you come back. Overall, I'm not really super paranoid about this kind of stuff. Um, I've been cleaning guns this way, the way I'm doing it right now. I don't know, since I was 10 years old. 19 years. I've been doing it this way for 19 years. I've never experienced anything bad. I still have the same 22 rifle that I had when I was 12 years old. And man, that thing is dead nuts on. So, this has never failed me, so I'm going to keep doing it this way. Now I'm going to clean it out with this guy. And then I use um, the patches to do my final wipe down of the barrel. And I can look through the barrel and I can see that it is completely clean and shiny. I don't really have any buildup. Now, you know, there is one thing. You need to make sure that the first um, uh, inch or so right here is very clean. Because if this section isn't very clean, um, the, the shells, um, your bullets are not going to seat properly if they don't seat properly you're gonna have light strikes you're gonna have problems ejecting you're gonna have all kinds of problems if if this is too tight and they you know when it's brand new it might be kind of tight but I like to really work the brush um, a lot to make sure I'm not leaving any residue behind inside the first portion of the barrel here that actually holds the, the uh, shell casing so just be aware of that all right 
cap my stuff here so I don't knock it over. Okay, there it is. I go ahead and fold this over once. And I fold it over again. Stick it through there. And I put this in dry at first. And I go ahead and I wipe down the uh, shaft. Just because what's the point of putting a nice fresh thing in there if I have residue all over the shaft. So then I push it through. And look at that. Even after all of that cleaning, you can see it's still got... Man, I can't make it focus. There you go. You can still see that <laughs> there was residue in there. So, I pull it through. And now when I look through my barrel, it's really shiny. So I'm good to go. Dry it up. Kind of get all the solvent off. And once I get all the solvent off, I will move to cleaning the slide. All right, so solvent's off. Got some solvent in the cracks. Blow that out. All right, there's that. I'm getting my thing all dirty. This tends to uh, spritz dark, dirty oil everywhere when you're doing this, so don't let your wife catch you doing it on the dining room table. My hands are getting all oily as well. All right, let's move this stuff out of the way. Now we've got this bad boy. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same. Start by blowing it out a little bit. Just to get any large chunks. All right, now this puppy's nice and dirty. So I'm gonna use a decent amount of solvent here. I want it to run down in. And this is something I usually take out to the garage and I hook up the air compressor with a blow gun and at 100 PSI and I really, really blow this thing out. Um, I'm obviously not going to do that right now because all I have is a little can of air. So I'm actually going to take and I'm going to drip some solvent down in my firing pin. Just for me, that thing right down there, that gets dirty and that causes problem. I have another little, I don't know what you call it, little plastic thing that came with my kit. And um, I basically, I cycle my firing pin in and out really fast now that it's saturated with solvent. And as it rubs all the way around, it's cleaning itself off and I don't have to take this all the way apart. So this is what I'm doing. I'm taking the end of this and I am uh, pushing down on the firing pin, cycling it in and out. And then I will actually push it in and I'll grab onto the other end of it. Now that it's sticking through, and I will wipe off as much of that crap as I can. Actually, once I have it pushed, I'll be gonna like to get the brush on there as well. Because a dirty firing pin, for me, causes a lot of problems with light strikes. Um, so once I push the firing pin through, you know, All right, so now let's try to blow it out a little bit. This can of air is not sufficient. It's almost empty. 
All right, I'm gonna cut the video here. I'm going to run out and I'm gonna blow um, this area out really well with my air compressor just to get all the solvent out of it and all the dirt and grime now that I've got it nice and uh... Okay, I'm back. So, I'll explain what I did off camera. All right, so after I, you know, use the solvents to get, you know, all of the uh, stuff that's really stuck on there and really gummed up and I've scrubbed everything and I've used the solvents to break down um, the grit and the grime that's really built up and is caked on there nice and hard. At that point, I will blow it out really good with the air compressor, um, which ends up getting your solvent all over the gun and it's just like an oily solvent covered mess. So then is what I do. I get some hot soapy water. I personally prefer Dawn dish soap. I think it works amazing. And um, so, you know, hot soapy dish soap, uh, hot soapy water. Um, and I submerge the gun, the slide. I shake it, you know, a lot to really get the, you know, stuff to um, clean everything out. It also cleans off all the solvent, cleans off all the oils, and um, then I take it back out to the air compressor and I blow it off again. So at this point, I have scrubbed everything that's been caked on. I have scrubbed off with solvent. Um, I doubt you'll be able to see through the barrel, maybe a little. It's nice and clean. Um, and my slide, now you can see, is nice and clean. So I'm about ready to put this stuff back together. Um, when I put it back together, I do use a little bit of oil. Now, I've tried dry lube. Problem is, dry lube, it, it builds up in cakes and is not, I don't know, it, my gun does not work as well. Now, if, I, if you have some dry lube that works amazing, please leave me a comment and let me know. Also, on any of these steps, if you find that you, um, you know, have a way that works better, let me know. Um, make me a video response, you know. I'm totally open to different ideas. This is mainly for people who have no clue where to start, and um, this is what I do. It's what I have done for a long time. It works well. So, let's keep moving on here. I don't want this video to go too long. I actually put a little bit of oil um, right here. Well, you can see where the gun wears, okay. There's some wear here. There's some wear there. And there is quite a bit of wear on the barrel up here. So everywhere that has a decent amount of wear, that's where I'm putting oil. Because that's obviously the place that rubs the most. So I don't completely, you know, drown the gun in oil. I just, you know, maybe a drop, maybe a drop on the barrel. A little bit right there. If the gun has, has gotten spots that are worn down, I'm going to oil them. So, and I just kind of rub it in. Now, this oil, any dust, gunpowder, does stick to this. So, that's why a lot of people will recommend um, that you use um, something that is uh, not wet, like a dry lube which I've tried, I just haven't found any good ones that I liked. So I went back to using actual oil. So now that I've got this all oiled up, you know, it's not dripping. I simply, you know, wiped it all over with my finger. Um, I'm not gonna put any oil in here other than maybe just slightly wipe that. I mean, I already got oil on the other sides. So that's that. I put it back together and uh, let her rip. So to put it back together, I start by popping that in, make sure my thing's down. And um, it is a lot easier if you use your guide pin that came with the gun, but you don't have to. Like you can see right there, I didn't use the pin. It just took a lot longer than you. Like that, There's the hammer, there you go. Fully clean, Walther P22. Um, now I think I'm going to go out and test uh, to see if this thing will shoot Remington Subsonic Ammo.